The Trump campaign is making a blitz here in Wisconsin, spending lots of time here while the Democrats hold their convention virtually. Fox 6's Amy DuPont live in Darien now, where the vice president told voters they can expect many more trips between now and November. Hi, Amy. Hello, Mary, and there were so many people here to welcome the vice president. According to the White House, they had to turn 200 people away. But for those who got inside to hear him speak, they say the VP and president's time here in Wisconsin will be the difference on Election Day. School may not be in session, but Kurt Lewis is teaching his boys. Well, hello, Wisconsin. A lesson in civics. To be able to uh, show them, you know, what it is to be involved and to stand for something that you believe in. The Ford Atkinson family made the drive to Darien to see Vice President Mike Pence, one of three campaign stops the Trump team has made in Wisconsin just this week. And I did hear the Democrats were supposed to have their national convention in Wisconsin. But they couldn't make it. Pence promised supporters that he and President Trump will continue to fight for the Badger State by creating jobs and defending local law enforcement. We're not gonna defund the police, not now, not ever. The VP also praised the way the president has handled the pandemic and told the crowd schools can safely reopen, just like he says the president has safely reopened the economy. To bring America's economy all the way back, we don't need Joe Biden's agenda of higher taxes and more regulation. We need four more years of President Donald Trump. Pence's words give the Lewis family hope. I just think they have the, the heart for this country. I think that they truly believe in the things that they say. But it's the VP's time in Wisconsin the Trump team is counting on to get voters to the ballot box. Where the other side's online, we're going to be on the streets in the Badger State. Now, the Trump campaign has not yet said if they are sending someone back to Wisconsin again for the final day of the Democratic National Convention. But, Mary, I think it is very safe to say that we will see either the vice president or the president again soon. We are live in Darien. Amy DuPont, Fox 6 News.